Hi everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel Zero Analyst. This is the day 50 of our 100 days SQL challenge. Today we're going to solve one of the really challenging SQL questions that was asked by two companies. One is called Goldman Search and one is called Deloitte. This question was posted by Nishan who works at IBM as a data engineer. Let's go ahead and see the problem statement. So if you see, this is the problem statement. This is the data set. A lot of user has already solved this problem. This is one of the really challenging question that you can see it here. I have created a small PPT so that I can explain these questions in a better way. So let's go ahead and see the problem statement. So it says you are given two tables of a train stations. One is called train arrivals. One is called train departure. So train arrival has the information about the train arrival and the train departure has the information about the train leaving the stations. Okay. So this is what we have. Let's see what you need to find out. It says one platform can only accommodate one train at a time from the beginning of the minute of the train arrive until the end of the minute it departs. Okay. Write a query to find the minimum number of platform required to handle all traffic on that given day. Here you need to understand one thing that at a given time there could be multiple train coming in. There could be multiple train that is leaving the stations. So what you need to find out is that in that day what is the number of platform that we need to handle this schedule that we have like the number of train that is coming and going at a given time in one platform we can only accommodate one train so this is how let's say here we have one train coming in this platform so till the time this train doesn't leave these stations we cannot accommodate one more train in this platform right so this is what we need to solve let's go to pgadmin4 where i have already created table and inserted this data so that i will explain logically how we can solve this problem so here you can see i have created the table and inserted this data you can find it from the video description so let's see the first table which is our train arrivals that has a 14 events record so different different train coming in in a different different time so the first train that comes which is at eight o'clock in the morning and the last train that is 8 10 in the night okay same way if you see the train departures so in the train departure also we have 14 train that is leaving the station so the first train that leaves at i guess 8 10 and the last train that leaves the station that is 8 15 pm okay now what you need to find out at a given time what is the maximum number of train that is going to basically stay in that stations right that is what we need to count here so what I will be using, I am going to use a very simple approach here. So first from this train arrivals, I am going to select this kind of arrival time. So let's first run this. I'm going to select this arrival time. Okay. And I would select arrival time and I'm going to name it called event time. Okay. So I'm going to assign a number to this event time. So each train that comes, it is going to consume one platform, right? So I'm going to give it one and I'm going to call it as basically events okay so this is fine it's going to create a new columns and you would see that one every train that is arriving it is consuming one platform so i have just given a number called one very simple approach same way what i can do is that i can do for the departure as well for, for the departure i am going to basically give it minus one that means as soon as the train leaves it's going to release one platform right so let's go ahead and do for that we would just select the departures data here and i would say that departure departure time and uh, i would just give it minus one okay let's go ahead and execute it now we have minus one all this train that is leaving the station we are giving minus one and all the train that is coming we are giving plus one now what i just need to do is that i need to find simple running total of this events i can do join this to select statement using a union all and i would just need to find out running total of each of this time so at each time interval what is the maximum number we have by doing a sum here because if let's say at 8 10 we have a uh, four train in the stations and let's say two trains are living at 8 10 so we would left with two only okay so we would only need two platform to handle that basically time okay so this is what we are going to use here i'm going to use a union wall so i would say union all and let me do union all and i will show you so you can see now we have combined 28 events together so all the positive event that you see these are the trains that are arriving in the stations and all the negative events that you see these are the train that is leaving the stations let's do a order by here let's do a order by here by this which is called event time okay i will do a order by by the events time and now you can see we have 28 different different time here the event times and for each of this event time we have the event numbers like it's like one or minus one okay so let's first see the data okay so you can see at eight one train basically arriving right 8.5 one more train arriving so we need a two train for this time zone which is 8 to 8.5 right 
the second train that comes at 85 again so we need a three train basically so we need three platform basically right because we have one train coming in at eight second train that is coming in at five third train is coming at eight five fourth train also come at eight ten so by here we need a four platform okay now if you see one more train that is coming in at eight ten so basically we need a five platform to handle this time right but if you see at the same time one train is living at eight ten so basically we would only need the four platform to handle this time right so this is what we will do now what i am going to do is that i am going to find a running total so at a specific event time what is the maximum number we have by using a sum on these functions so for that i would just need to save this union data into a cte i can just go ahead and call it maybe call train schedule okay as uh, and i will put everything in the cte using the parenthesis and from this, I would just need to select what very basic things. I'm just going to select this, which is called event time. Okay. So I would be selecting event time. Next, I would be selecting simply sum, which is to find the running total using the window functions. So we'll say over. And in this sum, what I'm going to do a sum is basically for these events. So I would do a sum for these events. And in this order, I will do a order by what, which is going to be this event time. Okay, so I don't need order by here. I would just do it here. Here I'm just going to call it maybe total events. Okay, all these things I'm getting from where, where, which is a train schedule. Okay, the CT one. So here I'm just simply trying to find out for each event time, which is going to be 28 event time. It is going to check what is the number we have here. So how many one we have plus and how many one we have negative. It is going to do a sum. And that's how I will be getting the total number of events. Okay. Let's understand again, if you are maybe getting confused here, let's maybe see something else here. Let's say we are talking about this, maybe uh, 3 PM. Okay. At 3 PM, you can see that one train that is kind of leaving the station. So basically one platform is kind of uh, being vacant here and one train is coming. Okay. So that means that platform is basically taken again. Okay. So one platform we need to handle this two train. Okay. Then we need one more plat one more platform because one more train is coming at three and one more platform is coming at three. So totally we need three platform, correct? So at this 3 p.m. we would totally need the three platform to handle this, okay? So this is how we would kind of find out the number of count, okay? Now if I just go ahead and run this query, you will see that each of this event time and we will have this total number of platform. So if you see here, we have each of this event time and this total number of events. Okay. Now what you need to find out is the maximum event number, because that is going to be the busiest peak hours or peak, uh, you know, time of this, uh, stations where the maximum train is going to basically stay in the stations. Okay. So if you see here for each different, different time, we still have 28 event times. And for each of this time, what you have done, we are checking the events. Okay. So at eight, we only need one platform. So basically only one train is coming at eight in the morning time. At 8.05, we need a three platform because the train that came at 8 and that is still staying in the platform by this time because it did not leave the stations because the first train, I guess, that leaves at 8.15, okay, 8.10. So here we need a three uh, kind of platform, okay. If you see at 8.05, we need still a kind of uh, three. If you see at 8.10, we need four. So if you see at 8.10, we need a four. At 8.10, we need four. At 8.10, we need four. And I guess this four is the maximum number that you can see in the entire day. Okay. At a certain time, maybe at uh, uh, 8 PM, you can see we only need one stations. Uh, we only need one platform at, uh, which is 3, 3, 3 15. We need a new uh, kind of platform because there is no train at the, at that time. So here, if you see, we need again at 8 15, we don't need any platform because all the train has already left the stations. Okay. So this is how we have solved this problem. Now I would just need to use the max functions to get the maximum numbers. So for that, I would just go ahead and save in a city or I can use a sub query. So I'm just going to call it maybe as a running total. Okay. Running total as, and I'm going to put this in a CTE and from the city, I can simply go ahead and select the max of this, which is called this total events. Okay. And I'm just going to call it, save it as a, as a minimum platform required okay so minimum platform required and i'm getting all this data from this running total okay so this is going to tell us the peak hours the minimum number of platform that we need to handle that entire you know train stations that specific day so we need minimum four platform 
to handle that specific day peak hours of that stations okay so this is how we have solved this problem guys thank you so much for watching the video till the end and i would see you in the next video till then keep learning stay consistent have a good one take care bye bye